guys welcome back or welcome to my channel it's your girl martha and i'm here with another video if you're tuning in for the first time or if you're seeing me for the first time welcome to my channel please subscribe also you can click the little bell to your right so that you guys are the first to know each time i upload a new video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you very much you'll know what to do so yeah in today's video as the title says i'll be showing you guys how to do a simple high puff tutorial with mini twists here in the front I say it's a simple tutorial because ideally it can be done under 10 minutes and so if you want to learn a trick or two if you want to know how to have a bomb hairstyle in less than 10 minutes then keep on watching important product you need is water so you need water in your spray bottle for me i just have water today i haven't mixed it with any leave-in conditioner so water you need leave-in conditioner any leave-in conditioner is fine but for me i'm currently using Cantu leave-in conditioner yeah, so you also need a moisturizer i'm using um Cantu moisturizing kill activator any moisturizer is fine you also need your gel for laying your edges which I do not know how to. So anyway, we'll cross that bridge when you get there. Then you need your oil. For me, this is a mixture of olive oil, black castor oil, and coconut oil, yeah? You also need your brushes, your afro comb, your white tooth comb, your toothbrush for the edges, a hair band, I cut mine, and some accessories so we have two types of accessories but i think i'll go for this yeah okay so we'll start i'm currently having a twist i've had this twist for over like three weeks i'd love to say so i'll unravel the twist and in doing that i'll get my oil mixture so i'll just oil my tips make sure that your tips are well lubricated or oiled so that the twists are unraveled properly and they don't detangle. Okay, so now we'll start the unraveling process. done unraveling my twists and this is what my hair looks like I'm just going to put a bit of oil and separate the twists because they are a bit chunky and I want them to be a bit like you know I want that oomph from my high up so I'll just separate them a bit so that I have that high up like a fluffy fluffy high up not so much because I still want the curls to pop. So, yeah. I'm just from stretching my hair and it looks something like this. Not really stretching, like separating the chunky twists, yeah? So because I want mini twists here and I don't want my hair to shrink so much, I'll use conditioner for now instead of water. So I'll just use conditioner for here. And I'll get my comb. Okay, so at this point, I'm just trying to part the front section where I'm going to have my two mini twists, yeah? So you can part it in whichever pattern that you would like, as long as the two twists fall in the front. Okay, so we'll use this for the twists, this part for the twists. <laughs> out. Okay, coming out. Out, out, out. So we'll use this part for the twist. I think I'll just start with the twist so that it's far much better. 
So as I said, I'll use conditioner because I don't want to use water in my hair when I drink. Out. So after the leave-in conditioner, I'm going with my oil. Just a bit. We don't want product build up. Oh, I left my cream. Okay, I did. I left my shea butter in the house, so I'll use this for the C, which is the cream. So I just use the Cantu moisturizing care activator, which is fine. And then now we'll stretch this a bit. Make sure when detangling your hair, you have to use a white tooth comb as opposed to an afro comb. So I start from the bottom. And I work my way towards the roots, yeah? So you start from the bottom and you work your way up to the roots. It's easier that way and your hair will not fall off or be stressed or anything. Yeah, so we'll cut this in the middle. We'll get this one first and we'll twist it up. Now you guys have to learn how to twist your hair. It's as easy as eating cake. Now, you part your section in half, yeah? And then you hold your roots firmly and you do that, okay? I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And then towards the end, you want to like, how can I put it? Like twist the ends like that, yeah? And voila okay so we'll do that for the next chunk you just remove this pin so for the second one you do the same you cut the hair in half then the same direction you twist it up We'll go back to the high puff. A bit, I'll put a bit of moisturizer just on the top since again I left my sheer butter in the house. Yeah, so you just do that. And then I'll go in with my spray bottle. Now, for this one, you'd want to just focus on the sides, like on the sides in front and on the sides behind, because as I said, I want like a very big high puff. So I really want my curls to stay popping. So if I decide to put this here, like my hair will shrink and that's not what we're looking for. So I'll just focus in the sides, yeah? After that, <laughs> I'll go in with my hair brush. And then going with my gel. This is Eco Styler gel. I wish you guys could see what I'm doing at the back, but hopefully I'll insert a picture to show you what my back looks like. Yeah. Okay. Get your hair band, shoelace, anything that you're using. So you tighten it according to how much you want your half to be. Yeah, if you want it to be very big, uh, if you want it to be very small. So for me, I love my high puffs to be like to have that extra oomph, so it won't be so tight. 
Yeah. And then after that, you get your afro comb just to like, you know, to have that definition and that volume. And then, as I said, I'm not really good at laying my edges, so let's just try this. And lastly, your shield spray for that extra shine. And voila! So we are done. This is my simple hype up tutorial. Trust me, it's done in less than 10 minutes. It's just that there was, lot, there was a lot going on on this table, but trust me, it's done under 10 minutes. So yeah, this is my final look. And we're done. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a massive thumbs up, share it with somebody, subscribe, click the post notification bell to, the, to your right so that you guys are the first to know each time I upload a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.